Hi folks, HR Funk here with a quick review today on the Fab Defense Spike Precision Bipod. I mentioned this in my last video and I wanted to take a close-up look at this particular item in today's video and show you some of the features and functions of the Fab Defense Bipod. And as a law enforcement sniper starting my, my time as a sniper back during the mid-1990s, I've had the chance to watch an evolution of several pieces of gear associated with precision shooting, and there aren't very many that have gone through quite the transition as the bipod. We'll take a look first at the bipod that I started my time as a law enforcement sniper using, and then we'll transition to the Fab Defense Spike Precision Bipod and see just how much more functionality these newer bipods offer. So let's wind back the clock to the mid-1990s, and this is the bipod that was on the rifle that was issued to me when I first became a sniper for my police department's tactical team. Now this is not the rifle it was on, I changed this some years ago, but this is the bipod. And in terms of functionality, the legs would fold up for storage, and the spring assist would pull them back down and help to hold them in place while you were actually deploying the bipod. But that was about it. There is no tilt, there is no pan. If you had to pan the system, you had to turn the entire rifle and bipod, and depending upon what the bipod was resting on, that might work and it might not work so well. Also, if you had to adjust the height of the rifle, there was essentially one setting for height adjustment where the legs would automatically lock. And if you needed it somewhere other than that, or if you were on uneven terrain and you needed to adjust the rifle so it was level, you had to release the lock here. And as you can see, the leg wants to spring all the way back in. So you had to hold the leg, release the lock, get the rifle to about where you wanted it so it was level. Then, while holding everything in place, you had to turn this lock in the front. And then, if it still wasn't quite right, you might need to reset it or move the other one. And as you can see, there's a lot of movement required for that. It's tedious and pretty much a hassle. And for operations where you might find yourself in an unusual location or an unusual position or some kind of strange contortion, trying to get the rifle aligned with where the threat might be could be a little bit of a process and a little bit of a headache. But as I said, this was pretty much what we could expect back in the mid-1990s if we ordered a bipod from somewhere. There weren't many options. But fortunately, as I mentioned, bipods have evolved over the years. And now, let's take a look at the Fab Defense Spike Precision Bipod and see just how much more it offers over my old standby here from the mid-1990s. One of the first differences you'll notice with the Fab Defense Bipod is in its construction. Whereas my old bipod was essentially all steel with the exception of the rubber feet, the Fab Defense is a hybrid construction with steel, aluminum, and high impact polymer, which among other things makes it more lightweight than my old bipod. The Fab Defense Spike Precision Bipod also differs in how it attaches to the rifle. Whereas my old bipod utilized a clamp to secure it to the rifle's front sling swivel, the Fab Defense bipod is compatible with a 1913 Picatinny rail, which has essentially become the standard for attaching anything to your rifles these days. When it comes to actually deploying the bipod, you recall on my old model, there were basically two positions for the legs. One was the fully collapsed position for transportation, which we see here and the other was the 90 degree deployment position. The Fab Defense model actually has three different locking locations other than the fully collapsed position, and this button is used to adjust from each locking point to the next, and those positions are at 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees. So if you're on that uneven surface, and you need a little bit more adjustment in the legs to bring your rifle into proper alignment with your expected target, these legs allow a lot more of that type of movement and adjustment than that old bipod that I showed you before. When it comes to adjusting the height, just like my old bipod, you still 
grab the bottom of the leg or the foot if you will and pull down to whatever location you want but if you have a situation where you need to reduce that somewhat there are now six different positions that the leg will lock in and you simply push this button in the front of the leg and you can adjust it wherever you need it much simpler than that juggling act that I showed you before where I had to hold in the lock and turn the other lock to try to adjust the leg up and down this one is very simple to move back and forth and as I said it locks in each of those six positions and by using those six adjustment spaces you can move the base of the rifle from a low of about seven and a quarter inches to a high of about 10 inches. And if that's still not enough height, Fab Defense includes two leg extensions with each bipod, and they can be added simply by depressing this button and pulling down on the foot, just like that, adding the extension and replacing the foot. I'll do the same thing to this side. And with the leg extensions in place, the base of the rifle is now up to about 11 and a quarter inches from the surface on which the bipod is resting. And while I'm removing the leg extensions from the Fab Defense Spike Precision Bipod, this is probably a good time to show you that the rubber feet are replaceable. If they become worn, you can simply remove these two screws and replace the worn foot with a brand new one. One of the things I really like about this bipod, after years of fighting with that other one to level the rifle and align it with the target, is the built-in 20 degree tilt that this Fab Defense bipod has and also a 60 degree pan. So if you need that little bit of adjustment to level the rifle or to align it with the target, it is built into the bipod. And there is a tensioning device here at the bottom, so you can adjust the amount of tension that there is on the pan and tilt features. Or you can tighten it down and lock them in place so there is no movement of the rifle whatsoever once the bipod is locked. One criticism I will make is to the tensioning device here. It's a little difficult to reach in underneath the legs and get a hold of that thing to increase the tension or to lock the bipod. I would like to see that moved maybe to the front of the bipod where you would have more room to reach up and either tighten it or release it. Or maybe to the rear if there was a handle attached to it. But it's just a little bit difficult to get to underneath there to make that adjustment. In its collapsed position, the Spike Precision Bipod is just over 8 inches long and it weighs just a little over 14 ounces. In addition to black, it's also available in OD Green and Flat Dark Earth. The Fab Defense Spike Precision is not the least expensive bipod option on the market, but at a little less than $165, it is far from the most expensive. And in fact, when I look at the prices of some of those really expensive bipods out there, it boggles my mind to think that people will pay that much for some of those options. And that's going to do it for our up-close look at the Fab Defense Spike Precision Bipod. I'd like to thank my friends at Optics Planet for sending this to me for review. And that's going to do it for the video today. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, if you purchase anything from Optics Planet, be sure to use my discount code, which is... And if you use that discount code, it's good for 5% off anything you purchase from Optics Planet. Also remember, WarbirdBunker.com is making t-shirts for the channel. If you're interested in my t-shirt, go to WarbirdBunker.com, and also you'll find several others that are all patriotic and firearm themed. Talk to Nathan there, and he can get you any of those t-shirts that you like. So until next time, folks, good shooting. Bye-bye.